Hey family, welcome back to my channel. My name is Matt. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning family member, thank you. Remember to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, do all that fun stuff. Smash the like button. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm for me to go out to different audiences and uh, get recommended. Remember, there's a giveaway on this channel. We'll talk more about that at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. All right guys, let's jump in. All right guys, so today we're back in reaction video for Millennial Money. This is the next video in the uh, series for Millennial Money. It is called Living on 55K a Year in Los Angeles, Millennial Money. This will be a, a good one. We'll see what they do. We'll see how they spend their money. I really enjoy watching this series and reacting to it. And uh, there's a lot of them, so I'm excited to keep going. So this is kind of a cool video to do. So let's get into it. All right guys, so she's a 22 year old girl who lives in Los Angeles, California, and she makes $55,000 a year. It's really embarrassing to say, but if it weren't for the Kardashians, I don't think I would have aspired to live in Los Angeles. My name is Madeline Parkinson. I'm 22 years old. I live in Los Angeles, California, and I make $55,000 a year. I was born in Australia, and Dang, she was born in Australia. That's really cool. I've always wanted to go to Australia. One day. Always knew that I wanted to work in entertainment on set or post production, and so I decided that I wanted to come to America. Okay, she's a video editor. Nice. I could use her help editing some videos for me, so I'll hit her up. College and to follow my dream. Oh, she went to the University of Texas. Uh. In Austin. Wow, that's kind of cool. She graduated in 2018, so she's been out for a little bit. I live comfortably. I don't have to worry about my bills. I'm never like, am I going to be able to pay rent? I track everything. I track things on apps. I track things on paper. I have like a budget binder that I use. Wow, this is honestly probably the best budget I've seen. Okay guys, let's go through it. She's got rent, $1,225. Savings, $7.30, that's really good. After she has a full, fully funded emergency fund, I would tell her to invest that $7.30 into the good old stock market. Food, $4.25, very reasonable. Insurance, $3.35. I'm assuming that's health insurance and car insurance, pretty good. Miscellaneous, uh, two ninety. That's kind of a lot. Is she going out to eat? What's she doing with the two ninety? Utilities, one hundred and fifty. That's pretty good. Car, seventy dollars for a car. What kind of car is she driving? And then freelance business, fifty dollars. Wow, I, I really like her uh, budget. She's doing really good. Something that I spend money on every single month is diet soda. I probably go through a twelve pack a day. Like, oh my gosh. She goes through a 12 pack of diet soda a day. That's horrible. Oh no, this is not good. She needs to drink some, she needs some water. She needs some water, some H2O. A lot higher because I was buying real diet Coke. So then I found the off brand. And I was like, glad I can continue this addiction. How are her teeth so white and she drinks so much soda? Usually that doesn't work. Biggest expense over the last year was my lawyer fees. I knew that this was. I bet you that's in the uh, miscellaneous category, the lawyer fees, because lawyers are obviously really expensive. Coming up, and I knew that I was going to be responsible for it. Dang, seven thousand dollars for immigration and lawyer fees. Wow, it's a good chunk of money. Whenever I was saving, whenever I put it in a savings account, I just knew that that was going for the lawyer fees, going for the lawyer fees. Even though it's so expensive and a lot of money, I would rather be here than anywhere else right now just because I want to be an editor and I want to be at a big studio. This is the place to be. This year, it was my first time ever doing taxes. Everyone was just like, use TurboTax, it's so easy. And so I went on TurboTax and I put in my information and it was just like this big red page of we do not support non-American <laughs> residents. And I was like, damn. So I had to do it old school. Doing freelance as well, that's a totally different game. You have to file 1099s and things 
like that, if you mess up your taxes and you are on a visa, that is very bad. <laughs> like, you can get in big trouble if you get deported. And so I just wanted to, like, give the government my money. <laughs> and I'm like, take what you need. We have a credit score in Australia. That does not convert to the US. I went in and I got my credit card and the limit was like $150. the debt-free life. Hey, she's debt-free, that's good. Interesting that she uses credit cards and she's still, I mean, it's good that she's debt-free, but you really don't need a credit card because, you know, you have money saved and all that fun stuff. Definitely in a privileged position where I didn't have to worry about student loans. My parents paid for my college. I feel like I should be putting more into my 401k that's my next goal is to try and reduce my expense. Well, that's good. $333 a month in 401k. You don't, I feel like you need to save money. That's cool. But like once you have your emergency fund and your expenses on a month to month basis are the same, you should put all your extra money into the uh, retirement funds. I mean, she could get bumped that up to 500 bucks a month. Somehow, so where I can bump that up. I'm really interested in the fire movement. Early Oh, the FIRE movement. I've heard of that. Financial independence, retire early. That's pretty cool. I get the bad rep because that implies that you don't like your job. But I would love the financial independence to be more picky about the projects that I work on. Hey, she paid cash for a car, $17,000 car. Good for her. Look at her go. I don't have this big looming thing that I'm going to have to pay for anymore. And so, Dang, she's doing a lot of good things. She's growing her emergency fund. No. $15,000 in a high yield savings account. We talked about that in the last video. High yield savings account slash uh, money market. Good option. Saving for. <laughs> That's like rainy day fun, you know what I mean? And I, sure, one day we'd love to get married, but weddings are really expensive. And I feel like I'm a broken record, but like once we get married, it's like, well, then you got to pay a lawyer for a green card. I would love to go back home for Christmas. That's just a big financial decision to make. I used to be an impulse shopper where I would buy the makeup because it was shiny and American and new. Same with food, like going to an American grocery store, I would buy all these snacks because I saw them in movies. I wasted a lot of money trying to become American. I think I'm a lot better now. That's interesting, become American, huh? Very interesting that she would buy those snacks and that stuff. And uh, yeah, that stuff can add up. You know, grocery stores are expensive. They do extensive marketing to get us to buy stuff on the different shelves. I'm not spending money on those things to impress other people or make myself feel better. But I think that overall, I generally stick to my budget. I'm saving. I think I've got a good start. So, a couple takeaways from this video. Number one, I think she's doing a really good job at budgeting her money. She seems like she's a budget queen. She's really good at it. Also, number two, she's saving a good amount of money every month and she has no debt. That's huge, you know what I mean? I think the big thing is she needs to invest more of that money. She's doing $333 a month into retirement. I would max that out to 500. And then a couple hundred dollars needs to go into a brokerage account like we talked about. Therefore, she can start building more wealth, you know, stay out of debt, maybe uh, keep saving for a down payment on a house. She had good emergency funds. She's from Australia. Obviously, she's really smart with money. Uh, her parents paid for her college, you know what I mean? She's been frugal. She paid cash for a car. So, you know, she's doing really good. You know, I'm proud of her. She's, uh, she's young and uh, thriving, as they would say. But yeah. All right guys, so that's a wrap up for another Millennial Money review video. Now, remember, there's a $100 Visa gift card giveaway on this channel when we get to 1,000 family members. I'm super excited about that. Just gotta keep hustling, grinding, over, 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 consistency. That's key, right? So you guys, keep uh, watching, subscribing, liking, share it with your friends, your family, anybody who wants to get better, you know what I mean? I always say the purpose of this channel is for you to get better every single day. You know what I mean? I'm excited to keep making them. I'm excited to keep getting better every video, keep getting more confident, keep getting all these these uh, attributes that I need in life, right? So I got a camera, you know, I'm, I'm just grinding every day. You know what I mean? Just keep going. So, that's all. 
Alright guys, so that's all for today's video. Remember to continually work to become the best version of yourself. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace!